When the Premier League season ended, Chelsea and Manchester United were two clubs in very similar positions. We both finished on 66 points in the Premier League, United finishing above Chelsea on goal difference. We've both got former legends in charge of the club. We both have squads which have exciting young players but clear weaknesses as well. But the problem is, only a few weeks later, you can't really say the same thing about Chelsea and United because both clubs have approached this summer transfer window completely differently. With one club, you've got a manager and an owner, both pulling in the same direction with the same goals. And the other club has a manager and an owner pulling in opposite directions with two different philosophies. And that is the big problem at Manchester United. So please make sure you, you subscribe, you share, you like this video, you do everything to spread the word about just how bad and how toxic the ownership of Manchester United is by the Glazers. Because Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done his part already. He's gone public with his frustration, saying that if we're going to find better players, we need to spend money. But that investment just has not come yet. And take a look at Chelsea's summer transfer window so far. Chelsea have already signed Ziyech from Ajax. They've already signed Werner from Leipzig. They're on the verge of signing Chilwell from Leicester. They're on the verge of signing Havertz from Leverkusen. They're in talks to Santiago Silva on a free. They're probably going to get a new goalkeeper as well. Chelsea really are backing Frank Lampard to the hilt. They are giving him the tools he needs to take that finish in the fourth in the Premier League last year and improve on it. And that's because they got Roman Abramovich as their owner. Abramovich is only interested in one thing, silverware, winning. That mentality is represented in Chelsea's ability to spend big this summer. But on the other hand, you look at Manchester United and the summer that we've had so far. We've been unsuccessfully chasing Jadon Sancho. Maybe that will change, but United aren't willing to pay the money that Dortmund want. According to reports from Serbia, we signed Filip Stavanovic, a young winger for around about 12 million euros, who's going to be going back to Partizan on loan for another season. But apart from that, United really haven't had any sort of advancements with any other targets. We need another central midfielder. We need another centre-back. But at the moment, it's just about the frustrations around Sancho and nothing else. And why is that? It's obvious and it comes from the Glazers owning Manchester United because with Abramovich and Lampard, you've got a manager there who wants to win, who wants to bring success back to Chelsea. And you've got an owner who wants the exact same thing. And when you've got those two working in unison, you can have a club being pulled in the right direction together from the top to the bottom. But at United, you've got Solskjaer, who wants to do exactly that as well. Bring glory back to United, bring trophies and silverware back to Old Trafford. But then you've got the Glazers, who are more interested in earning their annual dividends and then selling the club for a major profit rather than than bringing success back on the pitch. And with that divide between ownership and management, United are constantly being pulled in two directions. And it's why that success hasn't been able to return since Fergie. Because Fergie was the only man capable of dealing with the lack of resources that the Glazers provided by comparison of our rivals and still bringing success. No one else will do that. Solskjaer isn't capable of doing that. And Solskjaer is being failed in the transfer market because he needs these major signings to bridge that gap between third and second when City, which is huge. And everybody knows that. And City are going out there strengthening, bringing new signings in. So are Liverpool, and they're already further ahead than us. So the gap is increasing even more. Solskjaer wants these signings. He's gone public and with his frustrations. But United are failing to deliver. And they're failing to provide Solskjaer with the tools that he needs, like Lampard is being provided with. And Solskjaer deserves it. Look at the work that he's done to get that squad two-third. And we've seen with Bruno Fernandes at signing the right players can make all the difference. Now, of course, things could change. It, but there's only a few weeks now until the start of the Premier League season. And look at how much work Chelsea have already put in. Maybe a minor miracle will happen. Maybe United will sign Sancho, will go out aggressively and sign a central midfielder and a centre-back but I just don't see it happening. In previous windows, United have been like the drunk uncle at the wedding, splashing the cash, getting his wallet out, signing all the big shiny things, buying drinks for everybody. It doesn't matter. And that's because Ed Woodward was in power. 
not a smart man when it comes to signing the right players for the right reasons. And because of that, United are even more reluctant to spend because it's failed on so many occasions. And Alexis Sanchez is the biggest example of that failed, wasted money. But it finally seems that United are actually following some sort of vision, a plan, and that's being led by Solskjaer. Whether you agree with him as a long-term manager or not, you can't disagree with the improvements that United have made on and off the pitch with him in charge. But at Chelsea, you have Abramovich and Lampard. And trophies are the goal. Between the two of them, they just want to win silverware. They want that success. That is what matters to them. Solskjaer and United, Solskjaer and the Glazers, it's Solskjaer versus the Glazers. Solskjaer pulling in the direction of getting United towards that silverware, while at the same time being pulled back by the Glazers, who are more interested in the New York Stock Exchange, in the dividends, in the share price, in United as a business. And that huge divide only increases in size the longer it goes on, the longer they are the owners of Manchester United. And that disconnect will never go away until the Glazers sell, until new owners come in that have the sorts of ambition that Roman Abramovich has at Chelsea. Now, he's not the world's most incredible owner. I hate him for what he came and did and sort of changed the landscape of what owners do in the Premier League. It was his influx of money in the, early, in the mid-2000s that changed the game in the Premier League. But you can't lie about the ambition that they have at Chelsea for silverware. It's just not there at United. And it's so frustrating to see it. It's happened with so many managers. And it's happening with Solskjaer again. He's being failed in the transfer market. And as I said, things can turn around. There is time before the start of the Premier League season to get Sancho in, to get other signings in. But United have shown me over the years that that is just not going to happen. Fingers crossed, I still hope it will. And I hope I'm proven wrong and people can use this video against me. I don't think you'll be able to, but let's find out. But it just pisses me off to see Chelsea doing such good work for their manager with Abramovich and Lampard pulling together in the same direction. Ziyech, Werner, Havertz, Thiago Silva coming in, Ben Chilwell. Chelsea are reinforcing in all the areas where they were weak for a manager that they trust in to get him towards the trophies. The United, we reluctantly paid money for Bruno Fernandes in January. Look at the difference he made to that team. But United aren't doing the same thing this summer and Solskjaer is being left currently with the same squad that finished third last year and I don't think can go any further than that. Not in the Premier League, certainly. To close that gap, we need new signings. To get new signings, we need owners that are willing to spend money and right now, we do not have them. I hope it changes, but I don't think it will. But just let me know what you think and how your frustrations and your feelings are right now in the summer transfer window. I really do hope that in the next couple of weeks, things change and things start to advance rapidly. But so far, we've been dragging our heels while our rivals in Chelsea, City and Liverpool, Arsenal and even Spurs are actually signing players. Things need to change. Solskjaer has already said his frustrations in public. He can't speak out against his boss any more than that. He'll get a sack just like we would if we tried to overly badmouth our boss in public. But the Glazers, I love United and I hate the Glazers. And you know me, I've done so many videos on this. This is just the latest frustration at seeing just how amazing Chelsea are doing this summer and how badly United are doing and both clubs finished on 66 points last year, that gap's going to be much bigger next year. So as I said previously, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to United People's TV, get the word out about the Glazers. It's not getting the word out, it's just bringing it back to the surface again. Fuck the Glazers.